Kiddo. Hi, this is Ken from Ken's Horticultural Services and ColonaGardens.com. Today we're looking at clematis. Clematis are a nice little vine that can be grown in many backyards and it's fairly easy to grow. They're a little tough to get started. The first couple years, so like typically two to three years before they really start becoming a, a decent vine. And uh, this particular one is a, is a small flowered variety, but there are some that have humongous flowers on them. They're quite spectacular. Uh, so the thing with clematis is that they're all different. Uh, some varieties bloom very early, some bloom mid-season, some bloom late in the season. Some are sporadic all year long. So you need to, to really pick and choose when it comes to clematis. And then you, you, there are also different uh, pruning techniques required for clematis as well. Uh, some of them you just chop them right off of the ground every year. Other ones you don't really do anything with them. You just let them grow, just maybe lightly trim them with a hedge trimmer in the spring to tidy them up. And uh, so there's a lot to learn uh, about the, the cultural care of clematis, but it's really just picking one that you really like and get started with it. And keep the tag, because the tag will give you some information about the type of pruning that's required on it, and maybe some of the basic cultural care. Um, the, uh, the one issue with the clematis is that their stems are very brittle and they'll tend to snap and break. So even during the transplanting process, sometimes they will snap and break off. So uh, in that case, of course, that whole vine part will die, but they'll often shoot up from the root again. So uh, they're worthwhile trying. Just don't expect anything too aggressive in the first year or two. But on the third year, they really kick up and they're worthwhile. So plant for the future. Uh, so clematis great plant, lots of selection. There's tons of different types, so look into it, find one that suits your garden, and have fun with it. So remember to tune in to Kelowna Gardens for all of your gardening needs.